How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can do this. Check out the difference in quality from this very first clip to this second one. Take a look at that. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enhance your videos by a lot. You have no idea. Today, we're going to talk about HitPow VicP and its amazing tools, including, of course, the video enhancer, but also a watermark removal tool, background removal, AI colorist. It's amazing. Let's go ahead and begin. And the first thing you have to do, of course, is head over to HitPow's website. I'm going to have a direct link in the description. So then you're going to come to this page. HitPal VicP, in my case, for Mac, but of course, it's completely universal. So if you use Windows, there is a dedicated software version for Windows PC users as well. Okay, so just click on the link in the description. And then you can go ahead and try it for free, or you can buy now. Of course, I have an amazing deal at this very first link going on right now, so you can check it out. But let's talk about the software first. So go ahead, try it for free, download it. It's your typical download process, super quick, super easy. And then you're gonna go ahead and install it, and then we can get started. That's what it looks like. Hit pow, Vic B. It's an amazing video enhancer. So the whole idea is you have a video with a problem. Let's say it's blurry, or maybe it has a bad background or maybe it has a watermark or the color is off. It doesn't matter what issues you have, we have all the tools here to help you out. And I wanna start with a video enhancer, which is just incredible and in my opinion is just out of this world. It just seems like somebody's doing it manually, but no, 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 it's AI, it's the software that's actually doing everything for us. So uh, let's go ahead here and begin. As you can see, we have a different models. So for example, you have a restoration model or a video quality repair model and so on. And the idea here is for you to analyze exactly what you want. So for example, the video quality repair model, as you can see, there is a rating here on what it's doing and the level. So how fast is gonna do the process, the restoration, the improvement, uh, the whole enhancement. We have detail generation, so how much detail it can generate, how much it can denoise, sharpen, or decompress. And then we have the levels, as you can see. So depending on the model, it's gonna be more of one thing and less of the other. So this is for people who actually know what they're doing and wanna do something specifically, okay? So one or the other, but of course, we have the AI pilot, which will do the work for you. Let me show you. So I have some samples here, as you can see, and I'm gonna use this one, which is that very first video that you saw in the intro, which is pretty blurry. If we open it up once again, as you can see, and let's close the process afterwards because I'm gonna show you again. So it's completely blurry. Take a look at my face, take a look at everything. It's just so bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the beginning. So it's just really, really bad, low resolution, blurry, like a lot. So let's go ahead and add this blurry clip to our software. So as we add, as you can see, it populates everything. So it's great. And then you can choose the model that you want. In our case, I'm gonna go with AI because it's just so cool. So let's click on this option. And then as you can see, it already identifies the issue. So in my case, the whole problem with this video is the compression. It's super compressed and that's why the quality is so bad. But of course, it's gonna rate the noise, the, bl the blurriness, the grainness, and so on. And if we actually scroll down a bit more, uh, we have more possibilities here. So uh, the portrait model, as you can see, you can choose here and also the resolution. So we can go ahead here under export settings and then you can choose whatever you want. So for example, you can go with 4K. So then this video is not in 4K, but it's gonna export as 4K to get the best quality possible. Of course, you can also use landscape portrait. I'm gonna use a landscape uh, example in a second. So then it's up to you, all right? It's not just vertical. So let's go ahead and continue. We have selected everything. So let's go ahead and export. And as you can see, it's gonna go from MP4 to MP4 and take a look at the resolution. 360 by 640, and then it's gonna go to 4K, 600%. So it's gonna start the process right here, but then it's gonna get faster. As you can see, there is an estimate here, but as the process moves, this estimate is gonna go down. As you can see, it's around five minutes. 
it's gonna go down. I'm gonna get back in a second and I'm gonna show you that it's actually fast. As you can see, we are in 19% and we are already on three minutes, a little bit like low three minutes, maybe in just a second, we're gonna get to under two minutes. So as you can see, the time goes down way faster than the reality. So it's super fast. And so in a couple minutes, we're ready. We can click here to see the destination folder, but of course I set it as desktop. So it's right here already. So let's click on it just to be sure. And as you can see on desktop, let's open it up and then take a look again at the difference. Take a look at the quality of my face. Like it's just not blurry anymore. It's, it's, it's pretty much amazing. So let's just compare once again. So the original video, as you can see, original right here, and then uh, the results are out of this world. Take a look at this, take a look at this quality, take a look at this. It's, it's, it's amazing. So uh, this is the AI video enhancer, as you just saw, super easy, super cool, and you can easily enhance a lot your video qualities. But of course, we can come back to the very first page of our HitPow VP, and then let's take a look at something else. Let's say you have a video with a bad background. You don't like it, or it's just bad for some reason. Let's click on background removal, as you can see, and then let's click on our samples. And I have here background original, as you can see, that's the original video. And let's just drag and drop inside HitPal. So let's click on it. And then as you can see, as you see normal video of myself with a window as a background. Let's say I don't like it. So let me show you something cool as well, because you don't have to go through with the whole export process if you don't want to. You can easily preview, which I love. So if you click on preview, as you can see, it's just gonna start previewing like a few seconds of the video and then it's gonna start loading uh, the frames. So let it do its thing, let it just load the frames. So like as easy as that, it's gonna load in like 10 to 15 seconds, let it do its thing. As you can see, it preloaded 60 frames for our preview. And then as you can see, it just completely removed the background. So be transparent, so it's completely blank, the background, so you can do whatever you want with it. Of course, we have the second option, the background blur. Take a look at this. So you can choose how much of a blur you want, like medium, which is right now, or like super low, or like high. So as you can see, it's pretty blurry. And take a look at this, because I don't know if you noticed, but there's the headrest of my chair, and the AI got it perfectly. And this is like pretty close to my body, to my face, but it definitely captured perfectly what's the front of the object really is, which is myself, and what's the back, including like this, which is so, so, so close. This is so good. Uh, you can choose a background fill, so you can choose any color of your choosing, so you can choose the color if you want to, or of course, you can add a complete different image to the video. So this or this or that, and even of course, choose your own background if you want to. So you can go ahead and add an image and then of course have a custom background to your video in real time. Uh, as soon as you have it all set up, for example, like this, you can go ahead, click on export, and then get started with that very same process that you saw a couple of minutes ago. It's the exact same thing. Now, let's imagine you have a video with a watermark. Let me open it up. And as you can see, I have this video of an iPhone unboxing, but let's say it was a confidential video. So it's a big like watermark right here throughout the whole video, okay? So let's say you wanna remove it. You need to remove it. Again, we have a tool for that. So watermark removal, and then let's get our video drag and drop. So just here, and then again, you can choose how you want the AI watermark removal to work. So you can manually choose the area, for example, or of course, you can just click with the automatic selective tool. So let's close that and let's click on uh, the font, the, the letter itself. It's gonna process, generate, and then it's gonna pick up perfectly. Take a look at this, it was all automatic. And then all I have to do really is go ahead and export the exact same thing. Of course, I can preview if I want to, and then it's gonna start the process just so you see it's, it's correct for you. 
and then it's always important to check, right? So then it's gonna generate for you. Let's wait a second, and there you go. Of course, the preview is gonna be lower in quality because this is just a preview, but as you can see, it removed completely. It was automatically, and it just removed it. So of course, you can just go ahead and export and have that video for you. And then last but not least, I have to show you something that I also loved, which is the AI colorist. And this is so good for black and white video. It's not exclusive to black and white. So if you wanna enhance the color of a video, a landscape or something, you can do it. But I'm gonna do this for a black and white video. So again, adding here. So in this case, it's gonna be a portrait video, as you can see. And then you have the AI generative model. So as you can see, that's what it's gonna do. Uh, and you can choose if you wanna just colorize or colorize and enhance. So make it better looking, just pretty much like the first feature that I showed you. Uh, if you want, you can do it manually. So you have a few different models. Uh, again, just like we saw in the enhancement, but, but focus for, um, for color. And that's pretty much it. So let's see an example here to colorize and enhance. This time I'm gonna go with the AI color and I wanna choose this specific model, the colorized model, as you can see. Let's preview and then it's gonna do the process and then it's gonna automatically do the thing. Of course, it won't be absolutely perfect for every single scenario, but if you ask me, it's a great result. So we got the blue for my t-shirt, it got the, my skin tone and hair pretty much perfect. Of course, we see some differences in lighting here, but this is a very tough scenario. Everything is pretty much uh, like gray and white. And I picked this one up on purpose to show you even in a very challenging scenario, like it does the job, it does the thing, even though of course sometimes it's not 100% perfect, but as I know, I show you the real life, that's the real life result, and in my opinion, it is very, very cool, okay? So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys, like an overview of one of the coolest video enhancers, HitPal VicP, Incredible, I have a direct link in the description as I mentioned before with an amazing deal. Go ahead and check it out right now and you're gonna love it. You're gonna make sure your videos look way, way better than you ever thought were possible. So that's pretty much it and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.